Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Ron Dr. Ebenezer Marco of Living Streets International. I bring you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the word realities in pretense valley. Realities in pretense valley. And I'm going to take you to John chapter 4, the story of the woman of the world. Now she comes to Jesus and then, I mean, uh, she, she, and Jesus says, please give me, no, Jesus comes to her and says, please give me water to drink and then, and then she begins to, oh, how come you're a Jew? You're asking me. And then Jesus says, oh, oh no, if you know who is going to ask you, you give me, because you ask me, I'll rather give you water that you never thirst anymore. They said, our fathers worshipped, you know. And then Jesus, all of a sudden, comes out like a bolt in the blue, from the blue, and says, who call me your husband? And then she says, I don't have. And then Jesus jumps and says, no, you already have. In fact, you're on number five. Probably going on number six. He said, the one that's with you is not even yours. Hmm. You know what the woman was doing? All she was doing was fussing the real need of her life. And she was hiding the real need and trying to camouflage it with religion and race. What she needed was love. That's what she needed. See, she's been moving from one man to the other. All she needed was love. That's, that was her real need. And Jesus had to come in and say, you're looking for love from the wrong sources. Look for love from above. How sometimes we, we, we camouflage our real need. We try to decorate it, we try to cover up. When in reality, we're bleeding and we're crying. We're looking for something that we have not found yet. Sometimes God would ask us to remove the veneer. Or sometimes God would break open the veil or tear up the, the veil in order to minister to the need. Sometimes God, heaven comes and goes straight to the issue. Woman, you need love. You have been walking, looking for love from the hands and the heart of other people. You ain't going to get it. But the God kind of love is what you are. And she leaves that place so transformed. She says to her, well, come and see the man who's told me everything from the day I was born. This man has met my need. This man has met my challenge. This man has addressed my issues. That which is primus into Paris in my thought patterns. That which is primary in my thinking. That which is primary in my in, in my in the yearning of my heart. This man has touched it. You know what? Deal with the reality. Deal with the real. And stop covering up with the imaginary. Wrong. You know, it won't work. What's going to happen is we're going to keep migrating from one to the other, from one to the other. And the real issue is you know. So allow God to deal with the real issue. And don't fuzz the issue with him. You can fuzz it with men, you can cover up with men. But with God, you don't need to. He knows. He knows your address. And he has already read your mail before you enter in his presence with prayer. So you know what? Well, the choices are always yours. See you later.